What's up everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm excited to share with you all some great news that is expected to be coming to Fallout 76's universe sometime in 2019. It seems like it's going to be early 2019 when we will be receiving some of these updates. We're probably not going to be seeing all of these at once, of course. So, first off, before we get into this, if you do find us enjoyable, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, if you're new around here, if you want, give my channel a chance by sticking around and subscribing. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this. First things first, I wanted to go over the new player vending machines that are expected to be coming in 2019. So to start this off, Bethesda recently released some juicy information on January 1st, 2019 to kick off the new year right, stating that all of these features will be coming sometime this year, and they're excited to be sharing it with us. So since they are excited to be sharing it with us, it seems like they may be pretty proud of their work and well, I'm excited to see what they're excited to show us. But anyways, in case you haven't seen this nor heard about this, this is what they said. Later this month, we are providing resolutions by way of new patches for Fallout 76. Like our December 11th update, we will have a big update that will address many of the issues you've been providing feedback on. Full patch notes will follow soon. We are also building an incredible list of future updates that we can't wait to share, including new quests, weekly in-game events, new vaults opening, a new PvP mode, player vending, and much more. 2019 is an exciting year for Fallout 76 and we can't wait to grow it with you. Make sure to keep providing your feedback and letting us know what you like to see. Happy New Year from all of us. So uh, thank you Bethesda, happy new year to all of you at Bethesda as well. I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit more of the player vending. A lot of players seem to be kind of curious about that. So the player vending is going to work by having vending machines that we will be able to create at our camp. Now these vending machines that we create, we are going to be able to store things into them and set them as a price for other players to purchase them. You know how the scenario plays out. Another man's trash could be another man's treasure. As you can see here, this feature was revealed at the E3 when they were first showing off the gameplay for Fallout 76. Here, this was shown very briefly, and it's a medical vending machine. And it's in the category, as you can see above, in vendors, and it's labeled medical store. Now, of course, there is going to be other stores that we can create, and it doesn't seem like it requires all that much to make these. Something interesting to point out though, it seems like it is going to require certain skills to be able to run certain stores. Which, I mean, that makes sense. Hey, if you're running a medical supply store, I hope you know a little bit about medical supplies because I don't want to be buying from you if you don't know anything about medical supplies. You're just going to be overcharging me and ripping me off. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I could see why they would make skill requirements for setting up certain stores. But something that is grinding my gears a little bit is the fact that everybody, including their mothers, are duping in this game. I don't know how exactly the economy is going to work out when they do add in these stores because basically the dupers are gonna be like freaking Walmarts. They're gonna be taking over all the locals. They're just gonna be like huge super duper marts. I got everything you need. Thousands, hundred thousands. I'm actually two billion overweight. No problem. What do you need? I got gotcha. you. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm, there's no chance of competing and selling what I'm gonna to want to sell with all these dupers. So that's one thing that is underneath my skin at the moment. I don't know how exactly Bethesda is going to work around this. I mean, I would love to know how you all would think Bethesda would settle this situation. I honestly don't really see them actually ban hammering players where they were not gonna be able to play Fallout 76 whatsoever, but I do see them actually stripping away people's items that are extremely overweight. You get what I'm saying? Like 100,000 overweight. A character that has clearly duped. I see them actually doing that to handle this situation. Because recently, I wanted to add this into this news video. Recently, we wasn't able to launch nukes whatsoever, which just came today when I'm uploading this, that is, January 2nd. They also tried to fix the duplication glitch, but it seems like players already found a way around the hot patch that they did to be able to still duplicate. I mean, it really makes me wonder how many times they're going to have to hotfix this duplication glitch to actually get it 
fixed and out of the game. There could always be a workaround at the moment, I feel anyways, with how things have been going. And to be honest, I don't really know how the economy is going to work with all this new trading scenario coming into the game. I guess we'll end up finding out, but I hope they try to end up resolving most of these glitches that are affecting the economy before they actually release this feature into the game so it's actually more beneficial. But anyways, moving on from the hot fix that happened today and the player vending machines, let's go ahead and get into more detail about some of the other updates that are supposed to be coming, such as the new vaults opening. A while back, some data miners managed to get some interesting information about what's going to be containing within these vaults, such as Vault 96, Vault 94, and Vault 63. It seems that these vaults aren't just going to be simply for us to just go look around in. To make it short, in another video I will get more into detail about these vaults, but they're going to be timed events that will be able to go in as a group, and once we go in, we're not going to be able to return out of it whatsoever. As you can see here, before entering into the vault, it says this, please confirm that your team has assembled and is ready to begin. Once you confirm your acceptance of this mission, the vault door will cycle and no further personnel will be permitted in or out of the vault until the operation has been completed. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you come prepared before going inside this place. And I'm sure it's going to be plentiful with rewards the way it seems like it's set up. Once again, I'll get more into detail about all of these vaults in another video. I'm telling you, there's some juicy data mine information about these. And what they'll be containing. Either way, super excited for that. Don't know exactly when the new vaults are going to be opening, but they are going to be coming sometime in 2019. There is also going to be new quests and weekly in-game events. I'm sure some of the new quests are going to be tied in with the new vaults opening, of course. Now, I'm not saying all the new quests is just going to be about the new vaults opening. But I'm sure that's some of them that they are talking about. And as for the weekly in-game events, I don't really have much detail of what those new weekly in-game events are going to be, but Either way, I'm stoked for them. And lastly, as for the new updates that we know to be expected sometime in 2019, they did end it with much more, but who exactly knows what that much more is going to be? That's probably much further into the year. This stuff that they did mention a rumor to us coming, I think is going to be sometime early this year. And then like the much more stuff is going to be, you know, later. But yeah, we do know that there is going to be a new PVP game mode going to be taking place. Now, I don't know too much information about this. However, I do know one of the developers was talking about a 12v12 PvP game mode being in Fallout 76. Take a listen. We wanted to make it fun for a single player, right? Um, we wanted to make it fun for our teams. Our team limit right now is four. It's all adjustable. But our team limit right now is four. So we wanted to make it fun for co like co-op, four-person level gameplay. And we wanted to make it fun for bigger, like 12 on 12, death matches right and we're trying to like we normally do we're trying to jam it all in and and hope it all works out so i don't know about you guys but hearing that definitely gets me rock hard are you kidding me i would love to see a 12 versus 12 team player death match i don't know exactly how they would set that up particularly maybe it's going to be similar to how red dead online's pvp is like there's an area in the open world map that we're able to play in but if we leave that specific area you know we'll end up dying I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see the future of Fallout 76 and how we are going to shape it as a community. We are basically helping design this game from the ground up. And that's an exciting feeling. But yeah, that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and something in here was new to you. I would love to know your guys' thoughts about all of this that is coming and what's your favorite. And also, maybe something that they could include with these scenarios that they are adding in. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Until next time, though, everyone. Peace.